This video is prepared according to the syllabus of KTU. Course subject Web Technologies, course code CS368. In this session, we are going to discuss about form handling in PHP that is included in sixth module. In this session, we will concentrate on how to create form, how to submit form, that is how to get data from user, how we will get data from user. And also it is very important that how we get valid data from user. So data validation is also important that all things we will discuss in, in, the, in today's session. So this session is mainly for that purpose. We know that Forms are used to get input from the user and to submit it to this web server. Also, forms are used to edit already existing data from the database. Forms can be created using opening and closing form tags. Form submission can be done using post or get mothers. So with the help of the PHP super global variable dollar underscore get for get mothers and dollar underscore post for post mothers. The submission URL that will process the submitted data. Actually, we need to specify moment we press the submit button, what sort of action should be performed that should be very clearly specified. This is about an introduction about form sender. Let's discuss about PHP super global variables. Super global variables are predefined variables for a specific purpose. These are always accessible regardless of scope. That means we can access them from any function, class or file without having to do anything special. Globally, it's available. The super global variables are dollar globals, dollar underscore server, dollar underscore get, dollar underscore post, dollar underscore request, dollar underscore files, dollar underscore env, dollar underscore cookie dollar underscore section. Now we are going to discuss uh, uh, super global variables one by one. Uh, first one is the dollar globals that is used to access global variables from anywhere in the PHP script. PHP stores all global variables in an array called uh, dollar globals of index. Here the index holds the name of the variable. Next one is dollar underscore server. It holds information about header, paths and script locations. Next one is dollar underscore get used to collect form data after submitting using get method. Here that data what we pass through URL will be visible in the URL.
next one is dollar underscore post it is also used to collect uh, form data for after submitting the HTML uh, using post method the here the advantage is data will not visible in the URL that is the advantage of post method anyway comparison we will discuss in the next slide next one is dollar underscore request it is used to collect uh, data after submitting an HTML form it contains values of dollar underscore get and dollar underscore post also it has got the values of dollar underscore cookie super global variable dollar underscore files it is used to upload files next one is dollar underscore n e n b it is used to return environment variables from the server next one is dollar underscore cookie cookies are small text files located from a server to client computer is to some information regarding the client's computer the advantage is when we load the web pages the necessary information can be collected from the cookie itself last one is dollar underscore session it is a wonderful way of parsing variables here first of all we need to start the session using session underscore start then we can access the variable which we store within a dollar underscore session anywhere from the server so now anyway we will discuss all such things one by one now we are going to discuss about php super global variable dollar underscore server holds information about headers paths and script locations the following table lists the most important elements that can go inside the dollar underscore server so descriptions are given one by one for example dollar underscore server php underscore self returns the file name of the currently executing script the advantage of this is when we submit the form what action should be specified normally we use a separate file there we, that we will specify the corresponding action what exactly we need to specify but in this scenario such if such additional file is not required that is uh, one example one uh, particular element i have discussed so similarly all other things uh, are listed you can just go through this all one by one now we are going to discuss about uh, how we can submit the form and uh, during that time how we can handle or process the data so that can be done in two different ways one is using an extra php file 
format is form action you need to specify that you are uh, this is the, an example for that so here action Conduct.php is specified that uh, mother admin said that it is post or get mother admin to specify. But here, this particular file refers what action should be performed moment we press the submit button. That all things will be written over there in that particular file. Another possible way is using dollar underscore server php underscore self that is very useful when separate files are not needed so the it is useful for the situation where we have submit the form again to the same web page. Okay, this is clear. So, two different uh, ways. Now, we are going to discuss about uh, dollar underscore request. It is used to collect data after submitting an HTML form. Assume that uh, once we enter details in a form, we naturally press the submit button. During that time, the form data is sent to the file specified in the action attributes of the form tag this is an example for that here it is mentioned that see this is the action we specify action is equal to what is specified dollar underscore server of php underscore self is specified so that that points to the file the same file itself for processing form data if you want to use another file you need to specify action is equal to that corresponding file you can specify here here you can specify the corresponding file action is equal And after that, you can use the global variable dollar underscore request for collecting the value of input field. Here we are reading uh, some string from external world. Okay. You can enter a name or any string or anything. Here, uh, just a included one string only. You can include name or anything. So, the two options. If you try to leave it as a blank, that will display name is empty otherwise what exactly you type that will be displayed here I type how are you so that will be displayed that is specified in echo dollar name so here in dollar name using dollar underscore request f name That will collect value of the input field what is specified here name is specified that will collect from the 
you, sir. Okay? This is clear, right? Output is like this. Now we are going to discuss about post and get methods. First we will concentrate on the post method. Post method is used to get values submitted via HTTP post method. Already we have specified that dollar underscore post has got global scope so we can access from any script in the program the advantage of this uh, post method is it will not display the form post values in the URL. That is the advantage so that we can use for submitting the forms like uh, login forms, their password, uh, credentials are there. So such details will not be displayed in the, will not be uh, displayed in the URL. So in such situations we can use post method. Syntax is dollar underscore post then variable name you need to specify. Okay. Now we will see an example. Here in the example it is specified that if e set of dollar underscore post name okay so this is the format syntax we have seen dollar underscore post of variable here name is the variable okay so what exactly this particular statement will do See, moment uh, during the execution of this, what it will do is, this will fill the array with the hidden field name. So what we enter from the, I mean, uh, from the keyboard, and that will fill the array. And if it is done, that will display what is specified here, echo what is to be displayed. Then in the array itself, we have the entire data from the keyboard. That can be accessed by using dollar underscore post of nine. So that if you say welcome, concatenation is there, that variable, what array variable we have specified, that will be displayed. This is about the program execution. Now, Two things you need to remember. One thing is, this is the way you enter. That is, that will ask you to enter the nine. So, moment you enter here, you are going to press the submit button. Moment you press the submit button, in the sense, this hidden field will be filled in the dollar underscore post of array. So, what you enter here, that will be filled here. The content is Dr. Sabu George will be filled there. Okay, that much is clear now. Now, he said his uh, condition, he said condition is true, so that this will display. Okay, 
the advantage here is see the url this is what the url any see anything is here related to thing what you have entered here nothing that means that in the post method that will not display anything in the url so this is very safe method for sending credential so credential like password is on it okay this is about post uh, i mean post method this is about post method now we are going to discuss about uh, get method uh, this method appends from data to the url in name really pairs so whatever you type uh, will be displayed in the url so this is not a convenient method for uh, sending sensitive information like password and all not so whatever you want to send to the server which is not uh, that much uh, sensitive thing you can use advantage we can highlight here is for submitting the form where the user can bookmark the result that is one advantage so while passing data this removes the gap and replies with the uh, plus character one by one see this is an example see plus character is replied here corresponding plus plus doctor plus sabu plus yours like that uh, percent and this is what the data we entered that is passed through the url that is the difference compared to post method the syntax is dollar underscore get variable name the same thing we specified here already i discussed this all things okay same thing only but only get method we use here this is clear right okay so moment you enter this thing uh, all details will be displayed in the url now we are going to compare get and post methods uh, parameter is one by one we will see first consider the case of back button or reload in the case of uh, get method it's harmless whereas in the post method data will be resubmitted and we will get an error from the browser regarding the resubmission of data another factor regarding the bookmark get method that uh, things can be bookmarked whereas in the post method that cannot be bookmarked in the case of caching and all in get method it can be cached but in the post method that cannot be done if you consider the case of history parameters remains in the browser history itself so parameters are not saved in the browser history if it remains means it's not uh, secure so comparatively post method is more secure uh, as far as this factor is concerned next thing is restrictions on data length in get method restrictions are its it, uh, url length is uh, restricted to 2048 characters but in the case of post uh, there is no such uh, restrictions now restrictions uh, on data types 
In the case of get method only ASCII characters are allowed, whereas in the post method there is no such restrictions, binary data is also allowed. Then come to this security factor. As I discussed earlier, data is in it's passed through the URL is visible so that it is not secure. Also, that history wise uh, browser itself uh, details will be saved. In the post method, compared to get method, it is little safer because the parameters are not stored in the browser history or in the web server logs. When we see the visibility factor, data is visible to everyone in the URL, in the case of get method. But because of post method, data is not displayed in the URL. So I think this much is uh, very clear. So this comparison, anyway, this is important. You just go through this. Now we are going to discuss an example for form handling. See here uh, normal uh, procedure already we discussed. The change here is action on another file is specified. Her contact underscore as dot php separate file. There exactly what uh, action we need to perform that is specified. See there what is specified here is Thank you for contacting us will be displayed and uh, here is an information meter like that. So whatever value we read here using this thing, this is for getting name, for email ID, phone, uh, that subject message and all, that everything will be displayed. Okay. So uh, all other things will be displayed here echo uh, that variable specified correspondingly everything will be displayed here this is the uh, example for symbol form handling uh, now let's see uh, the uh, I mean corresponding output uh, this is the output for the previous uh, program a name field, a phone field, the email ID subject and all. So that you need to enter this on and you need to press the submit button and you will get display like this one by one, all other things. And uh, here we used uh, the methods, what are things we specified first and all that explanation is here. Here the method attributes tells the browser to send form data through post method. Anyway, everything we have discussed here. Okay, this much is clear, right? Now we are going to discuss about the PHP form validation. So why we need validation and all? So from the user, we cannot rely on the data, say name. Instead of name, they can enter anything. See, for example, email, email also, they can any enter any stuff. That is not allowed. The whatever we enter, that should be valued on phone number. That should be phone number. Like that we need to do some sort of validation. This is whether the user is entering valid data or not. If he is not entering valid data, we should not allow him to do that. See one simple example you see here. Now what is specified here? Now here 
it is asked to enter name okay so we are getting the name we are accepting the name from the user and stores to this variable fine suppose user is not entering any name he is leaving it as a blank in such situation we need to check md of dollar name if it is nd md we need to say name is required please enter name that way you can enter and the message okay so this is simple example for that uh, the detailed things we will uh, discuss in the uh, next slide and all see in the last example on simple data validation technique uh, we have discussed if uh, entered uh, field is uh, empty in the sense that will display an error but uh, that is not the case uh, for the other uh, I mean uh, fields like uh, email ID IP address URL and all there we need to consider still more uh, this thing that means uh, regular expressions we can apply there that is one technique another techniques we can use filters and all okay now we are going to discuss about uh, validating and sanitizing uh, data with filters so we know that in real world we cannot trust user input that means they may uh, enter anything so if uh, for example in the case of email id there is a format if that is not in that format we should not accept that data so accordingly we should implement some sort of validation to filter the user input before using them see here are some examples uh, before that uh, you see the syntax of this this is the syntax filter and uh, filter variable of where is that uh, that variable and uh, filter option you need to specify here is the description for all such things this is uh, for P php sanitize filters this is validate filters see for example validating email id in the sense you can use this thing filter valid email id for similarly for the ip address regular expression all other things you can use url and all similarly here also the sanitizes uh, things that means blank spaces these all things that will remove everything from that uh, filter here this is uh, validating the input okay so anyway we will uh, see the examples one by one now we are going to discuss the examples so first uh, we will see how to validate integer values after that we will see that uh, to validate the integer within a range so for uh, validating integer in the sense here we need to specify the filter like validate integer only that difference 
ओके वैलिडेटिंग इंटीजर यूनिट टू स्पेसिफाई एंड इफ इट इज ट्रू दैट विल डिस्प्ले द गिवन इंटीजर इज अ वैलिड वन अदरवाइज इट्स नॉट वैलिड See, this is the exam 24. It's integer, so it is displaying it as valid, valid one. Now another uh, thing we will consider about the range. See, valid integer, whether it is in range or not, between minimum range and maximum range we specified that is zero minimum, right? Zero, maximum it's hundred. So within that or not, if it is within that. It will specify, see, the one number 45. That is within the range of 0 to 100 or not. If it is true in this sense, that will display. It is in the uh, specified range. And now let's consider another example. That is to validate IP address. So anyway, first we need to get the IP address and uh, we need to check. Uh, main filter will get underscore IP. We need to check, and uh, we will get uh, whether uh, the IP address is valid or not. Then uh, we need to display that variable. Say, for example, user input. This is the input. This is valid email ID, so it will display it is. So now another example. This one. It's not a valid by. See that in zero to two fifty five it is allowed. Two fifty six it is not. So for each and every field ranges to fifty five, two fifty five or two fifty like that. Maximum zero dot zero dot zero. Okay. Similarly, you can try some other uh, combination also, some other IP address also. So you will get uh, proper display. accordingly and uh, that is about uh, uh, ip address validation now let's consider email address validation technique so same procedure we need to get the email id we need to accept uh, uh, this thing email id and uh, uh, where well, then we are just validating this using this filter and that again we are comparing it with the existing email this really or not and if it is true in this sense uh, just uh, we are displaying its valid email id otherwise it's not so for example this one exercised uh, underscore asterisk gmail.com It's not a valid email ID. See that, that is uh, now you say it's a Gmail ID. It's a valid email ID. Similarly, uh, we can uh, discuss different different uh, types of things. So this is about uh, form handling in PHP. So these are the references I have used while preparing this. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video.